on the Zen stories of the Ten Good Scarecrow, the second part, discovering the footprints along the river bank under the trees. I discover footprints even under the fragrant grass. I see sprints deep in remote mountains. They are found. These traces no more can be hidden than one's nose looking heavenward. The second part of your brain, which is living in chanchala, which is living in disturbance, suddenly start watching. Yes, you suddenly could find it. That is under the trees, under the schools, inside the classrooms, under the university buildings, yes, under the trees, you find there is something valuable, yes. Along the river bank, under the trees, I discover footprints. I discover what is taught is not to be learned by heart. But what has been, been going on in the schools and universities, and companies and factories or in the streets of the political political spectrum, in the Vidhan Sauda, in the Secretariat, in the Lok Sabha, in the Rajya Sabha, I could find there is some footprint, something has been discussed, which I should take it back to my house and I should make it practical. That feeling you could at least feel that I should practice, that I am not a slave, what is going on outside. Along the river bank, under the trees, I discover footprints. First time you discover that your people who have walked that path, yes, you have to slowly cut, cut it up into a smaller discipline because Everybody know discipline is growth, in discipline is destruction. Discipline out of love and understanding is growth. In discipline without understanding is destruction. In discipline is nothing but somebody else is, you're allowing somebody else to remote control you. It can happen in the schools, universities, in your factories, outside. You get carried away by a hundred times, said a lie becomes a truth. Even under the fragrant grass, I see sprints. Yes. You will now start feeling that your seniors have walked that path. You can find there is some kind of a truth in it. That when I buy a tomato, when I bring it home, inside there are seeds. I could find it. Yes, the seeds might bring in more tomatoes in the house. When I see the rain, yes, I could feel it is rain. There is a water shortage. When I see the sunlight, I feel of the Suryanams. Deep in the remote mountains, they are found. Everywhere and anything you, you see, you start feeling. Deep in the mountains, you find there is a beauty, yes. In the darkness, you know, light always comes. Kattal in the Balaginatik. From darkness to light. Tamasoma Jodhir coming from darkness. Jodhir to Balak. These traces no more can be hidden than one's nose. Now you cannot escape from anybody bullshitting you or trying to take you for a ride because you're slowly becoming conscious. You started loving. What you start loving, when you come back home, you realize, I have a house. Yes. How much did I spent? They must have spent to build up the house and secure the house for me to enter the house. Then I must take care of that building of the electrical, plumbing, sanitary, painting. I cannot come back from my office and sit down on the chair and order coffee or tea from my wife or for my children. Children also find when they come back, they cannot throw the books here and there. They are put in a proper place. And then they look at the mother and the father with full of love because they know hard labor came through them for them to this much jump and dance. Same on the political front, you see the roads are very bad. You don't wait for the 
political leaders. You immediately create that consciousness. You start first doing because you could see the footprints that the rainwater has to run through a guided path so that it can go to the streams. You know, the sunlight comes, I have to open the window so the sunlight falls right inside my room. And if I practice the Surya Namaskar, slowly, slowly, I discover my footprints. Yes, that your truth. That is what Zen talks about the second part. That connects you slowly to love your family. Once you know to love your family, you understand their love is never ending. It's a massive big ocean. It never expects anything back in return. Yes. If you go to interpret and dissect their language according to the dictionary, then you are in trouble. Otherwise, it's a ocean of love from the family which connects to the joint family and the family tree. Discovering the footprints yes, is so vast and beautiful. Yes, Along the river bank, under the trees, the river bank and under the trees. You know there are trees and under the trees there is a shade. Yes. Under the trees, the chirping of the birds under the trees. Yes. The, how the trees come, you trim it up, you water it up. Along the river bank, yeah, the rainwater has to be collected. So that it goes to the river where you can beautifully walk. The river ba bank is not broken. You collect it up and you save and then spend. I discover footprints. I discover there is a saving bank's account. Yes, there is a bank. Not only the bank of money, but the bank of the beautiful nature. Even under the fragrant grass, I see his prints. Yes, everything I find is beautiful like the Hindu Samskriti, not one God. Anything and everything is God. Means everything, everything, anything and everything has to be loved and not to be possessed. Deep in the remote mountains, they have found him. Deep down, you see, when Brahmana Kshatriya, Vaishya Shatra, the black and the white, the rich and the poor, you find there is some great good. Yes. If we go to divide it up, no. You don't get frightened deep down in the remote mountains. You don't get frightened because they know deep down also, anywhere and everywhere. These traces no more can be hidden under one's nose. Yes. Now, nobody can purchase you with a five rupee note because you start realizing when before you see that five rupee note, you know what is, the, what is your wealth, what is your value. That's small understanding or trying to understand the steps of truth. You start slowly knocking for the door to open. You start asking, who am I? I discover my footprints.